Welcome to BuzzFlow Trends. In this video, we'll explore the exciting world of doing business in Canada, focusing on the Information and Communications Technology, ICT, sector. If you're interested in expanding your company's presence in Canada's booming tech landscape, you've come to the right place. And let's dive right in. Segment 1, Internet and E-Commerce. In the dynamic realm of the Internet, Canadian federal and provincial governments have implemented e-commerce legislation to facilitate smooth online transactions and protect parties from fraudulent activities. We'll explore how this legislation affects businesses operating in the country and the importance of functional equivalency for online contracts. Segment 2, Anti-Spam Legislation, CSL. CASEL, or Canada's Anti-Spam Law, is a vital aspect of the Canadian ICT landscape. We'll break down its key provisions and how it addresses the problem of unsolicited electronic communications, including emails, text messages, and software updates. Stay tuned to learn about the potential consequences of violating KSL rules and the steps businesses can take to ensure compliance. Segment 3. E-Evidence Legislation in Canada, electronic evidence plays a crucial role in legal proceedings. We'll uncover the conditions under which electronic evidence is accepted in court, ensuring its integrity and admissibility. Understanding this legislation is essential for any company doing business in Canada's tech industry. Segment 4. Consumer Protection Legislation The Canadian consumer protection regime is complex and varies across provinces and territories. In this segment, we'll navigate through the requirements and formality specifics that businesses need to consider when executing electronic contracts with consumers. Stay tuned for tips on avoiding costly violations and keeping your business compliant. Segment 5. Domain Names and Software Licensing Obtaining a CA domain name and understanding software licensing in Canada are vital for tech companies. We'll discuss the Canadian Internet Registration Authority's requirements for domain names and delve into the Copyright Act and Trademark Act's changes that impact software licensing after the Canada-United States-Mexico Agreement. Segment 6, ISPs and Telecommunications. Host, foreign ownership restrictions may apply to telecommunications common carriers, but there are alternatives for businesses interested in becoming Internet Service Providers, ISPs, in Canada. We'll explore how ISPs can avoid liability for copyright infringement and caching activities under the Copyright Act. Segment 7. Research and Development – R&D Incentives Canada encourages research and development R&D, through the Scientific Research and Experimental Development SR and ED, program. In this segment, we'll cover how businesses can benefit from tax credits for R&D investments and which companies qualify as Canadian-controlled private corporations. Conclusion That wraps up our journey into the exciting world of doing business in Canada's information and communications technology sector. We've covered essential aspects of Canadian e-commerce, anti-spam legislation, consumer protection, domain names, software licensing, ISPs, and R&D incentives. If you're ready to tap into Canada's tech opportunities, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us today at BuzzFlow Trends. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more exciting trends and updates. Goodbye!